Greetings everyone. Welcome to Dr. Quantum's K9 Channel Academy. We're going to do something amazing. We're starting a full series of training to Hermiona. I'm going to present to you using two female dogs, three months old, the entire training from A to Z, bringing Hermiona style those two females. In the next few lessons, we're going to see the evolve and the education of those two females and two handlers that will be educated for those two females. The idea is at the end of the road to have two females exactly duplicated as my female, Hermiona. We're starting with the introduction of those two females. The idea is that we're not going to edit that movie so you will have an absolutely the idea of how it's going to be trained we're not going to cut anything we're not going to prevent from you something everything i did is going to be presented to you as is between the parts we're going to pause the video only in order to place the dogs in a position and to make the video shorter. But other than that, no edit, no cuts, no nothing. Pure as is. Every time I will say stop, the video will stop so we can bring the dogs, save time, present the dog, and then we will start recording again. Okay, so now let's pause. Okay, we will start. The idea is to work with Winnie's and a chicken. And I'm going to introduce now to Ven Venus. Venus, she is a three month old. Venus, she's a three month old Belgian Malinois. She's very nice. She's a very good looking one, very massive. And that's exactly, she's very motivated. That's exactly what I want. Nay, nay. Hello. She likes to play and that's very good because it's a social exposure. She likes to bite. That's exactly what we are looking for. At the beginning, when we want to examine the dog, is we want to see how much the dog is focused on moving things that he want to play. This is a very important part. And before we will start working with the dog, we would like to see how the dogs react to the environment. One of the things, oh, one of the things is, for example, that thing. When something is fall down to the ground, and the dog is very interested in what exactly has been fallen to the ground. This is a motivation of the dog to, exp to examine new things, to explore new things. And this is very good for us because later we will be able to, to use that thing in order to control the dog, in order to exposure the dog. So now what we're going to do is we're going to examine it. We don't want to let her eat from the ground that's why she's searching for the food now she know that the food is on my hand that's how she doesn't eat if she's going to eat from the ground we're going to correct the dog nay will be the command to let the dog know that he's doing something wrong 
This is the very early stages. This is the very early stages on examinate when the handler is examining the dog. Yes. Good. Tova. Oh, Tova. Good girl. Oh, nay, 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 nay. Good. You're what we did right now is I let the winnies to fall into the ground. She will search it from the ground, but when she up, I ignore it, she got the food from my hand. And this is a very important part to getting the focus between the handler and the dog. Another thing what we're going to do is to see how the dog is motivated to pass into obstacles. Tova! Evolve the dog to find obstacles, to be able to pass obstacles. Those things when the ground is shaking, when the ground is unstable, this is where the dog is extremely afraid of. She's three months old, everything is new for her, and we want to focus the dog on exactly what's happening and what we would like from the dog to achieve. Now we will start from another side. So, no pressure again. now for her mentality it's being like a turbo engine to the brain because every time the dog is investigating new things neurons are being now connected to others more knowledge more experience more socializing and at the end the intelligence goes up so again If the dog doesn't want, we're going with the dog. Step by step. Easy, easy. dogs to the first it's very important not only the dog examinate us as handlers and trainers but also we examinate the dog not every dog will be able to achieve what Hermiona 
was able to achieve. And before everything, the most important part is the, the dog intelligence. Without that, we have no capability to understand what will become from the dog. So in order to achieve it, we need to examine the dog in as much as possible scenarios which we can bring to the dog. That's why social exposure is so important in such an early stage. The next thing that we're going to show you is going on an unstable ground, but on height. In that obstacle, it was very low and the dog was able to understand that the ground is very near him. Now we're going to lift it up and allow the dog pass into an unstable area, but on a high place. Okay, so let's pause for a second. The next obstacle we're going to show you is that bridge. One of the ideas of the bridge is that it is unstable. Letting the dog do it by himself will let the dog to explore by himself. At the beginning, we do not wish to do that. We want to let the dog understand that we are, as the handlers, are going to lead his way in life. That's why we don't let a dog, especially not a young dog, do something which has no leader. I will act as the leader right now, and therefore I will never ask the dogs let do something for now that I'm not capable to do, and I will not guide him to do so. One of the things that we're going to show is how to pass that obstacle. So I'm going to focus the dog on the prize, which is the chicken. Good. Nay, eh, eh, nay, nay. Good. Again, we never let him pick up from the ground. And we're going to focus the dog and give him the command to up. the dog being able to explore and to raise up the intelligence by knowing new obstacles, knowing new territories, explore those new territories and most important of all to know that he has someone to trust. Bonding with the dog it's the most important thing. If the dog bond with me the dog will trust me. If the dog will trust me, good, 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 good. Good, good. He's doing something good. We want to motivate him. Good. Good. Okay. Come. Let's do. Let's do it from the back. From the back to the beginning. Again, she never did it from the back. Let's start doing it from the back. It's a new territory for her. She doesn't understand that if she's coming from a different side, it's it's a new obstacle for her. But let's come. Very short leash. Very short leash. Tova. Tova. Good girl. Good girl. Now let's stop. Give her to friend and Shape. So she can understand that the ground can be shaped. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Over. Now let's continue. Come, come. Wait, wait. She's going to pass me. Control. You want to safeguard the dog? Good. 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 Over. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Loose. Now the dog understands that there's a freedom command. She can do, she, she can walk anywhere, and the most important part is that the dog 
right now understand that it was a game. It wasn't any command. It was a game. Life is a game. Everything with training is by good words, by good motivation, leveraging the good side of the dog and leveraging the good side of the handler. Together, when both of the sides leverage to a good places, the result will be amazing. That is a promise. No need to anger. No need to yell, to yell, no need to shout. The dog understands it's, it's a highly sensitive, intelligent creature. It's capable to understand our feeling. I don't need to communicate verbally. I can just show her an impassion and she will understand what I want. Choo -choo. Good words, good motivation. Mm. Oh, 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 good, good. She see my reaction. She loves my feelings. That's why she's active like that. Oh. Mm, mm. We're doing, we basically let the dog understand that we have the same feeling to the dog as we have, as the dog have for us. And we can see. Now if I will call the dog and I will come, she will follow me. Come on, good. She understand wherever I go, I'm the leader. Bring the camera, follow me. So I'm giving her the capability to have freedom. Then she's open, no control. And she's looking for things to do. That is a wrong thing to do, but we will not going to correct it right now. I want to create a bonding between the dog and me. Therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to verbally give the motivation to the dog to come up. So she's going to explore. Venus, come. Venus. I know. Venus, come, come to her. Come, 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 come. Venus, she's very interesting. Venus, come to her. Come, 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 Hey, it's a yobby. Good girl. She understand when I'm calling, there is a prize at the end. So she will come more. Always the belly. The belly is very sensitive place. We want, we want to be able to understand the dog that even the most sensitive place of the dog, it's the places that we can take care of. Good. She wants to play, she wants to bite. She's a puppy. That's a natural thing. So again, I'm going to ignore. She's searching for grass. No food over there. And she thinks she's following me. Good girl. Again, she understands that wherever I go, there is a food with me. She's following the food. The food is the prize. So she's playing now with the leash because she's hunting the leash right now, and that's a very good situation. She controls the leash. Once it's been finished, she's resting. When I will call, she will understand there is a motivation at the end. Always, 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 always have a prize. The prize is so important. With no prize, there is basically no feedback for the dog's work. When we're going to work, at the end of the month, at the end of the week, we're getting our salary. We're working hard. At the end of the day, we're going home. We know that at the end of the week, we will get our salary. Dog doesn't know that. We need to under, let him understand. There is a salary at the end of the work. And when she's working good, she's getting the prize. The prize is the dog's salary. So again, I will go away. Let's see a reaction. What happens if I will run? If she will follow me? If not, I will call her to come. She will come to watch me. Good girl. And again. Come. Good. Excellent. Now she knows that not to run away from me. But if I run, to come after me. I'm the leader. That is why it's so important to investigate the, bo the bond between the dog 
and the handler again she's going on go, going on the floor trying to play but you see if i'm starting to move she will now come up on me the reason why she's coming up on me because she understands come, come, come. come. good kill again six good every time she's coming to me she's sitting down only when her but touch the ground she getting the salary why because we want to focus the dog sit in front and wait for commands so we will let her play i'm going to ignore the dog i'm going to let's see if she will come up oh, yeah she's coming she knows that wherever i go she's coming again i'm going let's see if she will come Lay down now. Do you want to play? Just like door. Good, she went away. Now I will go to the other direction. Let's see if she will come. from the dog on the leash and after that I will focus the dog on doing something good which is to release the leash come come again come I will say the command out and I will force the dog to release the leash out 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 nay nay now it's a fight between me and her on doing something wrong and to correct this is a correction. Lay. Tap softly on the nose. Softly on the nose. Nay. 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 And show. Good. You see? Now she's released. Now if she will touch it, I will be angry. Nay. 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 Good. Yeah. Good. She's sitting. She's focusing on me. Again. Immediately reaction. Good. Now what I want to do is to take it to see how the dog is being focused on a bite. So the next thing that we're going to do is to see the motivation of biting on the dog, but control biting. We want to control the bite specifically on things that we would like to do with her. So here is what we're going to do. First of all, I want a nice position of the dog I want to sit nicely therefore good. good okay let's pause and let's continue with the next session what we're seeing right now is two puppy rolls that the dog is very focused on taking them and we're going to show how we train the dog to control the biting we don't want the dog to focus only on a single bite but we want the dog to move between a bite to a bite the reason why because tomorrow when she will be grown up we would like to be able to control the dog on the multiple targets so here is what we're going to do we're going to ask the owner to hold the leash and here is what we're going to do I'm going to to, let, let's you know what let's pause and I'm going to bring a vest a unique vest play. we put the vest on the dog and now we're going to play with the dog I will be right now the decoy I will act as the decoy for the dog because it's not the, it's a game and basically what we're doing we're just focusing the dog on the puppy roll so as the handler I will never let the dog bite me specifically but others 
So, so the dog is learning the act of bite, controlled bite. So we'll take the leash and we'll give it to another handler. I will take the puppy rolls and I will start to create a reaction. Control, stay in one position, one and a half meter away from the leash. You don't move, you act like a paw. Go to that side so the camera will be able to see. She, she wants to bite anything. One and a half meter from the leash. We have a problem. Stop there. I want to show you something. How to handle the leash. When we're working on bite work, there is an only single way to control the leash. Thumb is being inserted in that way. Leash is in the middle of the palm and it's being locked by the four fingers. That way, when the leash goes from that side, I can physically control the dog. The other hand will always go in less than one meter and that is the way I'm controlling in two position the leash. Now, if I want the leash shorter, I'm shortening that side and that side is again on that but coming from down like that. Never above my palm. Always underneath. That way, if someone will pull even hard, it will never go away and I have the full control on the dog. Good girl. Now, let's do. You take the leash, you put it on the finger, on the thumb, you close it. Now the leash go underneath. You see? Good. If you want to make it shorter, we shorten, but always again, down, like that. This is the shortest place and the other hand on here, like that. If you right hand, like me, you take the left leg front and all the weight on the right leg. The reason why, because this is our strongest leg. We control the position. This is only for break. This one is to put all the weight on it. The other one. Again, we'll start. Let's play. She's starting to fight. The best we don't want. So, you stand as a pole, two hands, two hands on the leash. Right now, basically my life depends on you. If the dog will be released and it is a grown up dog, you can, the dog basically can compromise my safety. That's why safety first, always. We're starting with young dogs and then when the dogs grow up, the handlers know exactly how to handle the dog. She's she listening to strange noise. It's very good. She examinate, it's a very good motivation. She's focused on new things. She never heard something like that. You see the dog changing the head position. It means it's confused. The dog doesn't exactly understand what's going on. Every dog that moves the head like that, it's not cute. It's because he does not really understand what is it. It's a new thing for it. She's very focused. She's very focused. Now, we don't want to interrupt, we want to encourage. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop for now because something new is happening. Let's go and see what exactly is happening over there. Take the phone, don't stop it. Just take the phone, take the telephone and follow me. We're going to examine it something new she never saw and she is interested to understand. You see, she's focused on that. Now we're preparing Winnie's. 
Why? Because what? Oh. You see? She doesn't want to go. She's afraid. She's not afraid, but she's... You see? She's suspecting something is wrong. Come. Venus. Venus, come. Good girl. Come. Now, it's very important. I want her to be exposure to that. So, we're going to take the dog. Even with a little bit pressure. Come, 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 come. Come, come. Toba. Boy, 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 Toba. Boy, boy, Toba. Boy, eh, Toba, Toba, Toba. Come, 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 come. Come, boy, Tano. Come with us. Every, all the pack basically follow the noise. Now, let's start. Come, come. She's afraid, you see? We want to encourage that it's a good thing. And so we're taking food, we give the dog the food. Maestro, please continue. It's good, you're helping us. She's a little bit afraid, why? This is why we're going to see that she's not motivated to eat. When she will lose the focus. You see? She doesn't go away, she doesn't go back. Very good. She doesn't want to eat. She is a little bit afraid. Oh, she's going back. That's good. She, it's okay. Doesn't mean she, the dog's afraid. The dog is intelligent. He understands that there is something new in here. She's not aware of. And she's a little bit nervous. That's good. She doesn't back off, back off totally. She's like, okay, I don't want to, to be exposure, but we want to encourage the exposure for those noise. So that's why we're going to bring up. Come, come, Toba. Come, good girl. She trusts me. Now, the best thing is to take the dog in the hands like that, softly, close to the body. Good. And she understands that nothing is wrong. Good girl. Very important. If she doesn't want to bite, if she doesn't want to eat, no problem. Leave it. Feelings. Feedback. She understands she is not afraid. We're not afraid from, from new noises. And this is very important. Educate the dog for new, for new, for new sounds. Now the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit with the dog. I'm going to take the source of the sound, let her smell it, good, 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 okay, she's starting to ignore it, that's good, that's what we want to do, she's getting used to it, it's very important, she's not afraid anymore, now, what we're going to do is we're going to play with her. Make her encouraged to play in an uncomfortable zone. Very softly, very gently. This is what build the dog intelligent. Feeling my body, being close to my body. That's what giving the dog the sense of safety. Someone is taking care of him. Do not afraid. If I'm not afraid, she doesn't have any reason why to afraid. And then at the end, the dog being very courage more than I. Very good. Now we're going to release the dog in a noisy and in the noisy environment. You see, she's 
she's very relaxed. That's good. You see, she doesn't want to go. She's feeling comfortable with me. Now I think it's the time to maybe check if she wants to eat something. Yeah, she's eating again, which means she is comfortable now. The appetite came back. Very important. Good. She has the confidence in me right now. She's putting the palms on my leg, and that's the reason why she's feeling soft. She's feeling comfortable. Good. She's licking me. Good. She's now she's starting to be more in confidence on the environment. Let's start playing with her and raise up the motivation again. I think we exposure enough to that situation. Now, right now in her brain, that situation has been recorded as a good situation, you see, as a good situation. From afraid, she's very soft right now. She's very okay. Yes, very good, very good, very good, very good. I love it, I love it. We love love. We absolutely love the dog loving us and we love the dog. So this is so important. Building the trust between the handler and the dog. I love that dog. Good. Let's go down. Now we're going to make some play, bite work. She's coming from underneath. Later it will be from above. Let's go and play. Now, going to work, saying the word Tova, Tova, which means good girl, good girl, she understands that my emotions have been changed from a relaxed mode to something more, something more strong, something more sense, something more focused, that something is going to happen. So, we're going to take the puppy rolls again going to put it I want the one and a half meter no longer than that good girl now she likes to work she's locking herself on the puppy load that's good once she will release it I will focus her on another one good good Good, yeah. and I'm playing, playing tag. Good, yeah, good, yeah, thump. Good, yeah. And create the motivation to the new one. Release and get the new one. Good, yeah, good, yeah. Good, I want the bite work to, to work like that. This is a natural, yes, good, good, good. Yes, she's starting to take it from me and I always let the dog win. Good, good. Once she releases it or she's sitting down, I don't fight with her. I just create the focus on a new target. Good girl, good girl. And I'm trying to take it. I'm trying to take it. If I'm taking it, up. Good. If I'm taking it, I... I win, but I don't want to win. I want the dog to win. The reason why? Because we want to build the courage of the dog. So I'm pulling it a little bit, let her play and release. She will sit, once she sit, good girl. Again, she's focusing on new target. That is so important because we're building a multiple targets for the same dog instantly. That's coming closer. Now we will let the handler just work with one hand for now. Release the fool so she can go away. Good. Now take her to a nice round. Wait, 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 she's wait, taking wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. She does not release. If she's releasing it, then we will focus. Now come back. Come back. Come back. She is playing and this is her trophy. Now again, showing a new target. Venus, come. Good girl, we saying the word, which building in the brain, the sense to attack, the command will be tuck, short. Good girl, she's staying, and I'm taking a new one. Good girl, 
highly motivated, fast instinct. That's what we want. She's sitting down. Once I'm touching it, she's going on the new target. Very good, that's what we want. Check it out, you see? She's moving by itself, but she sees that there's no someone behind it, so it's boring. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking the other one, and now if I touch it, then, you see? She's defending it. It's her trophy, and release. I'm playing, tagging with her. <laughs> She's a three months old. This is a very good, this is a very good, those things are built by the intelligence of the dog. And you see, she is releasing it. It's a, a trough. Show the dog. Come. Tuck. Good girl. Tuck. Tuck. It's over. Tuck. Now, the next thing is I want to play when the dog understands that we are on the same level. That's why I will bite the puppy roll together with her. And I'm letting her go. She will sit down and I will show her to take the new one. But I don't... Up. She will go and I will convert her, her to pass into the new one. Position. Good girl. Good girl. She was fighting for it. And she won again. Now she have it. It's her. Up. She lifted. It's mine. Good. Now, the last part is we're going to lift up the motivation to the maximum. I will show you how I'm doing it. Basically, I'm focusing the dog on the bite. Doing so, I will pass the other things. When she will release, I will let her touch none. Then for the next time, she will be extremely motivated. She understands she has only one, but it doesn't play by itself. Very sensitive. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. Very good. Now I'll pass to the other one and take both of them. Not letting her take nothing. That's why she next time she will be extremely motivated to play. <laughs> good girl. And that will be the last time in three, two, one, and we're starting the last one, last session. Good. You need to control. That's a problem of the handler. He was letting, he didn't listen. And now we need to pass to the last one. Again, no bite work. Prepare. Good. Showing it, and I'm backing off. I'm backing off, and I'm putting it in a place that will never get it back. That's it. She's focused. No more games. Where have you gone? The reason why I've gone is because I want to keep that motivation for the next time we play. She was a good girl, and that we don't let her eat nothing. The game was the trophy. So we finished the game, now back to bonding with the dog. Again, good. She's licking me. Very good. Very good. No biting on face. Very good. Very good. 
Good positive, good positive. You see, she doesn't bite my ears right now. She was controlled. She's trusting me. I'm her friend. Good, good, kill. Again, coming back. If she's trying to bite me, softly, two fingers on the nose. No bite the handler. you for being with us if you like what you've seen press the like button press the share button be our friends next week another session you will be able to see the dog grow up new dogs coming in see new tactics new ideas and hopefully one day you will be able to have a dog like that thank you see you next week